Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am comparing two products. I'm on a roll because I just did another one of these videos and you guys just know I love comparing things and seeing what I think is more worth your money or where I think one might fit better for you. So the two products that I'm comparing today are the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder and the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Both, well this one is brand new, this one is very very popular, so I thought it would be fun to see which one I thought was more worth your money because both are amazing. So that's what today's gonna be. But before we do get into it, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It just really, really means a lot, so thank you so much. But if you wanna see me compare these two products, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. Like I said, this is going to be a comparison of the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder and the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. So this one I just did a review on to just show you guys what it does because it is new. So go check that video out if you haven't already. This one has been around for a while and I have used and abused this like crazy. So we're comparing these two. I will say just off the bat, I was originally going to compare the Too Faced one with the Charlotte Tilbury, uh, Charlotte's Genius Magic uh, setting powder, the loose powder, because I'm obsessed with that one. I think that one is like out of this world amazing, but when I went to go look it up online, tell me why I saw that it was discontinued. Literally, my heart hurt when I saw that. Like what? Why would they discontinue such an amazing product? I'm just like so disappointed and so sad. I can't talk about it. But the Hourglass one is also really, really amazing and I use it like crazy. So of course I'm doing this one instead. So I'm gonna just read up on the details about both of them and then I will try both, like one on one side, one on the other side and we'll see what they do for my face. As of right now, I only have liquid and cream products on my face. I haven't put any powders on my face because I want this powder to go first and this powder to go first so you guys can see what these do for me and then we'll see how other powder products sit on top of both and what kind of looks better, feels better, all that. So the first one I have pulled up is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This one goes for $46. So honestly for a powder product it is a little up there but standard-ish pricing and then it's 0.36 ounces the description here says it's a loose powder formula long wearing natural finish good for pores cruelty free it's an ultra refined talc free loose powder that is designed to give skin a naturally flawless finish it has a natural finish. It's a loose powder formulation. This finely milled weightless powder is formulated with soft focus light reflecting particles to instantly blur imperfections and minimize the appearance of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles for effortlessly smooth skin. That sounds amazing. And then Too Faced, it's the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. Goes for $38. So Too Faced is a little bit less expensive than the Hourglass. Not by much, it's like a few dollars, but it is less expensive. And the Too Faced has 0.59 ounces. So Too Faced has almost double of what Hourglass has and it costs less. So keep that in mind. And then this one says vegan, natural finish, without parabens, gluten-free, hyaluronic acid, loose powder formula, a silky lightweight powder that sets makeup for a perfect luminous finish. It's a light coverage, a natural finish, a loose powder formulation. Too Faced Silky Lightweight Oil Absorbing Powder blends effortlessly to set makeup while blurring the look of imperfections for a gorgeous veil of luminosity. So they sound like they do similar things, like the descriptions of both sound very similar and they both honestly sound really, really great. I can attest to that too. I've tried both, I've used both, and they're both really amazing, but it all comes down to which one is better and which one is more worth your money, which is exactly what we're testing out today. So I do want to talk about packaging. I love this packaging. You can immediately tell that this is a Too Faced Born This Way product. They all have this like black on gold, which I love. And one thing I love that was unique to me about this was that it has a cap 
so you can lift the cap and then the powders in here so it doesn't make such a mess in the lid like how other products do. So I love that. This one, I also love this packaging and you immediately know that it is Hourglass. I love how it has such like a thin, like sleek design. I love this reflective brown. And I will say this packaging is also pretty unique because the lid on this has an indent in it. So when you close it, it prevents powder from falling out but some does get out I will say it's a little bit more on the messy side but it doesn't spill out like some other ones do so both innovative in that sense but Too Faced is just a little bit more so I do love both though I, I'm obsessed with the packagings let me just take a little bit of each one on the back of my hand so you guys could see what they look like it's honestly probably gonna look the same just off of a first glance so I'll do hourglass on or I just did Hourglass. Here's Hourglass and here's Too Faced. So Too Faced seems to me like it's a little bit more pigmented. I don't know if that's just me or if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, but that's just what I'm noticing. Obviously they both feel pretty much exactly the same. We're not really gonna see much of anything just from putting it on the back of my hand. So we're gonna put it on my face. I'm gonna do Hourglass on this side and then I'll do Too Faced on this side. And once I'm done, we will talk details and see what each one does for me. So let's just get started on applying and then we'll talk a little bit more. Guys, I just finished applying both and the first thing that I noticed when I looked in the mirror was my pores. This side pores wear. Literally non-existent. Look at this. It's so smoothed over. It's so filtered out. And then this side looks really nice too, but it's just a little bit more like you could tell my pores are there. So this side, the Too Faced side, does a much, much better job of covering up those pores, filling them in to give you that like filtered out ethereal look. Side note, I did not put a pore filling primer on because I wanted you guys to see what both do for me without that. So obviously the Too Faced side does a much better job on like giving you that smooth, perfected, filtered look. Both feel really, really smooth. Both look really, really smooth. That's the only difference as of right now that I'm noticing. That and my smile lines are a little bit less noticeable on this side. So I do like that. So far, Too Faced is winning me over, but I do need to see how both react with other makeup products. So I'm just gonna finish with some other makeup powder products on top and then I'll come back, let you guys know how both worked and let you know which one I think is worth your money. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I am back after applying all the products, powder products on my face on top of the setting powders. And I do wanna say they're very, very similar. Like you could not tell a difference, honestly, if you didn't have them side by side like I do. The only thing that I noticed was a difference between the two as far as other makeup on top goes was to me, this side just looks a tiny, tiny, tiny bit smoother than this side. Like this side looks really beautiful too. This side just seems like a tiny, tiny bit more like blended and smooth, if that makes sense. And I feel like that mostly has to do with the fact that my pores on this side look a lot more filled in and just like soft and non-existent, pretty much. So I feel like because it's making my pores look non-existent, my makeup looks a lot smoother on top too. Again, this side looks beautiful as well. It's just this side looks more like filtered, airbrushed, like not real kind of thing. So I love it. Honestly, that's the only thing with other makeup products on top. Like both were really easy to blend out. Everything else was pretty much the same. So I'm gonna say if I had to choose one that I think is more worth the money than the other, I definitely think the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder is better in my opinion and more worth the money in my opinion because one, it's less expensive. Two, you get almost double the product for less money. Three, it does a better job filling in your pores. Four, in turn, other makeup looks smoother on top. So just overall, I really like this side of my face. Obviously it's not a huge difference, it's more subtle differences, 
but just overall my face and my makeup look better on this side than on this side not saying that this sucks because this is still so so amazing and i will continue to use this like crazy but this one it just looks a little bit better so i feel like i'm definitely going to be reaching for this one a lot more i'm just obsessed with how my makeup looks on this side and what this does for me and what it has done and just everything about this i love so this is the winner for today in my opinion if you have not tried this you are missing out it's freaking amazing go try it for yourself you will not be disappointed just everything about this a plus so that is it comment give me your thoughts let me know what you guys think what side you think looks better just what you like more let me know let me know what else you guys want to see from me give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel but stay tuned and i will see you guys in the next video